friends, I am Nitesh Pradhan from LabVIEW Programming. It is our NI DAQ lecture number 5. In this video, we will see how we can use DAQ Max API mode. So, in this video, first we will try to know what is API mode and what is the difference between the task mode and API mode. Okay, so let's go. The uh, task first we need to know what is the task mode so the task mode okay so this kind of program uh, is a task mode program okay why because uh, we create one task we create one task in our project in our lab view project uh, and we initialize that, that task on our block diagram okay so it is task mode in this task mode we use daq assistant as a task and we initialize that task in the block diagram but after that second one is the api mode this kind of programming is the api mode okay in this kind of programming first we'll create a physical channel we don't create any kind of task because we create a physical channel okay we create a physical channel and after that we'll uh, insert minimum value maximum value okay okay after that uh, input uh, configuration okay now after that we'll uh, select the our timing mode like uh, one sample software de uh, software demand uh, one uh, on demand software dependency one sample finite sample infinite sample and sampling rate sorry number of sample and sampling rates so all these things the input out sorry the minimum maximum value the uh, terminal configuration the physical channel name and the physical channel uh, name numbers with the sample okay uh, sample per channel and sampling rate with this the timing will uh, configure all those things inside this task okay so far uh, for task mode the this is our initializing okay it is our initializing platform and api we need to write this long code to initialize okay and second after that initialization we use initialize and we'll go to the this start task mode okay start task mode and up in api mode we'll initialize we'll uh, write all those things will uh, configure according to our requirement and after that we'll start our task okay then both are uh, then uh, remaining are the same like one channel and log waveform one channel and log and and sample are the same so right now we will try to know what is the benefit okay uh, if we use api mode if we in the uh, previous video you have seen if you want to change if you want to change the minim uh, minimum and maximum value uh, during the runtime, okay, during our task, during, when we try to perform our task, then we cannot modify and we cannot change because already we had fixed in the task mode. We cannot change the number of sample according to our requirements. Now, okay, rate according to our uh, requirements. So, um, API mode is much easier uh, to control or much easier to configure our uh, input terminals or in uh, our requirement, our parameters. Uh, when we want to measure the data so in this program we'll uh, try to write uh, the ni the aq max program based on api so far come to the ni lab view right click come to the view, vi okay this one is your block diagram and this one is your front panel so come into the block diagram right click in block diagram come into the measurement drag here this one is measurement and this one is the nidaq max right click and pin in now we need to take one create channel okay first we need after that we need one timing then we need start then it we need read after that we need stop and clear
ओके गुड सो ना मेक अ कनेक्शन फॉर द एरर let's uh continue here right click create control okay it is our task now right click create control no need to control okay task so we uh, we don't need to uh, take any kind of task just we need uh, only the physical channel name so create control this one physical channel name great after that we need minimum maximum create control and create control sorry control for minimum and maximum okay there is one more create control okay configure terminal okay now there is any no any anything okay let's try to so here we'll use analog voltage only so analog voltage if you want so you can change it analog current and others okay so but we'll use analog voltage or we can take it is the analog temperature module and thermistor current thermocouple you can change if we'll change so control b here you need unit okay create control now control h shows okay so no need okay and if you will change it in control value so you don't need any kind of this thing control b let's check so you need configure terminal so let's configure terminal place control okay sorry for this inconvenient Oh, wait after that here create control is for rate okay now sample per channel create control okay and now there is one so let's try to check our program there is any possibilities to run or not let's try to check now come into the waveform graph take waveform graph and place here come here and connect waveform graph with this our data and run 
yes we have one error because our channel name is not initialized so come into the front panel let's check physical channel i am going to use physical channel here and the minimum and minimum range will be 10 or maximum it will be also 10 the input mode is the pseudo differential rsc rse mode here we'll take rse mode and here we'll take the rate okay so it will be run so after that it's showing one second okay it's showing for one second so let's take uh, let's see let us see control h there any more things no start no okay i think uh, i have did some mistake finite sample okay there's number of samples i didn't take let's again this one right click create control constant okay create constant and here now right click control t So again, what is the problem here? Let's check it. Control A, Control U. We'll try to check our problem. Okay. So everything is right. We had created a virtual channel and log output. For that, unit, create control. It volts also it is right number of sample is 100 so let's check it so now what is the problem with this code let's take Okay. Con Let's check it. okay here uh, so problem is here okay okay i got my problem uh, so problem is here one uh, analog sample here multiple sample okay and waveform now now uh, it will be show the output okay so sorry for this increment okay so 
it is my uh, API based program so you can write this program like this so thank you for watching this video